It's Friday, July 24th, and just after I finished loading up the Jeep, it stopped raining. This is what it looks like inside, and I am ready to go. So my goal was to keep this whole back section open so that I could crawl back out here at any time and not have to worry about moving anything. This is just held in by a bungee cord, and I can move that wherever I want at night. So inside, all my stuff is in these boxes here so I've got just a bunch of miscellaneous things that I'll need in that box I've got my clothes in that box all of my canned food pretty much is in here underneath this stuff I eat a lot of garbage as you can see and then I've got other food kind of sprinkled throughout the Jeep including in the back there and then also up front so as i mentioned in another video i took out my seat so there's my two boxes one has all my cooking stuff and breakfast material and the other is just food items this is a christmas tree organization box and i decided to use that as a catch-all so i've got miscellaneous things in there that are just quick grab and go items and then i've got all my tools in there and beside that is my recovery gear and then just a soft-sided cooler in case I decide to pick anything up at Walmart. But that is it. That is everything. My goal was to try to go as minimalist on the inside as I could, and I think I still overdid it, actually. Up top, I've got all my parts and fluids, a lot of them up there. I did bring extra gas because there's 260 miles in between gas stations at one point. I do have another five gallons there, but you just never know what you're going to run into and my tent poles, uh, my hatchback tent, and my seat, my uh, camping seat. I've also got my table up there, so it is all ready to go. I'm pretty confident in what I've got. That's where I'm at. There's not going to be much to film between here and out west when we get started. It is pretty much just 40, 80 percent of the way, I-40, and then the rest is just miscellaneous roads to get to our starting point. So the meetup is at Manny's. We are ready to go. I thought I was a minimalist, but looking at his TJ, he's got nothing on top. And I've got all that stuff on top and some stuff inside, but already having blower motor issues. That's the last time I'm gonna talk about it in this video unless I have to change it or it completely dies because that's gonna be a problem every day. Don't wanna hear about that. And I think I fixed a rattle already. It was something dumb. All right, so it is 6.30 on Sunday, July 26th or 27th. And we are starting to get going. First day, we only drove, I think, less than 300 miles to just outside of Nashville. Uh, but yesterday, we decided to get as much as we could under our belt. We didn't stop till almost 11.30 last night. And we've got at least on the map nine hours of driving yet before we get to Antelope Wells, New Mexico. But that's all right, we should get there in the afternoon and be able to hit the trailhead and camp somewhere on the trail tonight, which will be great after two nights of parking lots. So we are at White Sands National Park and we are going to climb the dunes up there. So I've been here before by myself. It's a bit more crowded than the last time I was here, but it's still cool nonetheless. Wanted to show Manny since it is such an anomaly out here in the middle of the desert to have these white sand dunes. So if you're ever in the area, check this out. Even if you've been to a million beaches, you've got to check out White Sands National Park. So we're going to climb up there. From what I remember last time, there's a pretty awesome view up there. Sand dunes like that for as far as you can see. And we do have some clouds around us. I don't think we're going to have to worry about any rain or anything, but 
just check this out for a while and then keep moving on. It's a little bit of a delay, but I think it's worth it. somebody didn't plan out their gas accordingly <laughs> and wanted to try out his new shiny gas can so here we are at the high energy laser test facility outside of white sands and then we found these cool trees that grow green beans just kidding but it is a cool tree so yeah, we're 20 miles from the gas station and we'll be here for the next few minutes. I'll blame it on this impromptu uh, stop. Yeah, if it wasn't for White Sands, you would have made it. Exactly. All right, we just got to where we are gonna start on the Continental Divide. It is actually not the starting point because the exit off of I-10 was closed. We were looking at another route to get in there and it looks like where we're at is the start of one of the main dirt roads. We would have to drive an hour and 20 minutes to get down to Antelope Wells to drive the exact same thing back to this spot right here. So we are right off of I-10. That there is the entrance for one of the first dirt road areas. There is another one between here and Antelope Wells, but we decided that we're not gonna backtrack and do that little section just to say that we did it. So we're starting here off of I-10. This is gonna be it and we'll see how it goes. excited to get on the trail we completely forgot the air down after driving on highway for so long so many miles it is a relief to finally even just be on a dirt road and for the weather to cool down it is a very nice start to this trip so I'm glad everything's worked out to this point and looking forward to whatever lies ahead of us We've already hit a couple of these dry riverbeds, but with the storms all around us, we are going to have to be cognizant of flash flooding and just washouts in general, so it just makes it a bit more interesting. Alright, it is July 26, Sunday night, about 9.30, and we're at about 7,000 feet in Gila, 
Gila, G-I-L-A National Park. Found a place that should have a pretty nice view tomorrow. If it clears up, it's been pretty rainy and dreary and overcast. Flash flood warnings in the area till about midnight. And it's nice because it has cooled down a lot. It's about 70 degrees here in the cab. But outside, it was cool enough to need a jacket before we crawled in. So Manny and I both retired to our Jeeps, and I am probably going to go to bed here pretty soon. I am tired. So we're just going to take our time tomorrow and just take it easy. We, we spent two days, 48 hours, going 2,000 miles. So now we want to ratchet it back a little bit and actually enjoy the scenery around us. So that's the plan. I am going to retire, and I will talk to you later.